mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan, China. A new type of coronavirus. The number of affected countries has tripled. The World Health Organization has just declared that this is a pandemic. The city supports all essential workers who are showing up every day. It's still March. And the Oscar goes to Parasite. Please sit down. Thank you. I've never seen her before. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. So, folklore is out. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. The Los Angeles Lakers. This is so much bigger than just us. I always say talent is more important than experience. I've always said that. Everybody right now is worried that TikTok's going to be banned in the United States. Normal life canceled. 11 days into the national lockdown. All public gatherings banned. Working from home is the new reality. Are any of y'all wearing pants? Now be honest now. School is closed. For the remainder of the academic year. And Guys, what happened? It kicked her up the I see Britain is holding up two and two. I see of more than 400 million children. Zoom after Zoom can be exhausting. It seems like the world's caving in on you. Yeah, work never stops. It could be taking a toll on your well-being. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Italy saw its deadliest day from the coronavirus as the death toll jumped by more than 600 in 24 hours. The plans we have is to contain and the disease outbreak in Taiwan. We have very little problem in this country at this moment. Five people have contracted the virus. Let us build up our confidence. We will eventually win. Many of our countries in Europe are now acting to flatten, flatten the, the curve used when talking about reducing the number of coronavirus cases. Americans' unemployment claims nearly 3.3 million More than announced. More 6 million. I hope that's right. 10 million workers now applying for unemployment. 50 million unemployment claims filed in the span of just four benefits. months. A disproportionate number are black. It's called systemic racism for a reason. There's 400 years of history here. One man's death has rekindled this movement around the world. Frustration over the lack of charges against the officers. They should be charged. There's always a better way. Protesters kneeling and raising their hands in peaceful demonstration. Is that your Bible? It's a Bible. They poured onto the street. Resign, they shouted. Identity. Against the killing of the youth, we want a new Nigeria where righteousness, peace and justice reign. They are scared. They fear they are losing the power. the worst fire season ever, and mm -hmm. every year builds on the last one, it seems like. Yeah, it really does. This is everything we've worked for for the last 35 years, gone. This looks more like Mars. One of the most busy hurricane seasons ever on record. Devastation in Puerto Rico. India and Pakistan are facing their worst locust outbreak in 70 years. Cases are up. More than 30 states in Puerto Rico reporting cases on the rise. Possible second wave going global. 60 million plus cases, almost 1.5 million deaths. I've developed mild symptoms. French President Emmanuel Macron. President Bolsonaro has. Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany. Donald Trump tested, tested positive, positive for the, the coronavirus. coronavirus. It's it's right right I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. It is what it is. We don't have enough stretches. We're way above capacity. Cemeteries have become overwhelmed. Allah Akbar. I think we, we could have been a little more preventative, you know, as a whole, as a country. 
when I'm president, we will be better prepared, respond better, and recover better. Some lines stretching for blocks, forcing people to wait hours to cast their ballots. It could have rain, it could have snow. I would not care. I'm not going anywhere. Andrzej Duda has been re-elected president of Poland. Many Malawians already knew from early unofficial results that he would be their next president. Tsai defeated a pro-Beijing rival. Luis Arce promised he will rule for all. We will be a party that governs for every New Zealander. We did it, Joe. The flame of democracy was lit in this nation a long time ago. And we now know nothing, not even a pandemic or an abuse of power, can extinguish that flame. I hope I aren't going to have the bloody bug now. <laughs> you press on for what is right, for what is fair, for what is just. But we will not go back. We've come too far, and we're not going to give up now.